Hello and welcome back. We are the Ranger Citadel. I already checked this place out. It's not that big actually. These are the points of interest. This area is locked. Medical Bay, we will visit it. But first let's check out the supply. See if we can get some nice upgrades. So you save the scientist at X Center. This is Melson. The young sergeant has the build and heart confidence of a born jock. His neck is bigger around than his head and his biceps strain the sleeves of his tight t-shirt. They haven't even unsigned you your bunk yet and already the old man sent you off on a couple of do or die missions. Well that the way it goes in the desert ranges these days. I'm sorry to say so we better get you kitted out ASAP. You ready to equip yourselves, or do, so, do you have some questions first? Well, is there anything we can help you with? Maybe get a quest? Now I'm good. Well, actually there's one thing now I think about it. Now that the rangers are getting active again, we're starting to use a lot more ammo and I'm running low. To make more, I need as much brass, lead, and steel as I can get my hands on. So, if you require any broken weapon parts, especially the junk that's left over from modding your weapons, bring them back to me and I'll buy them at a premium. I like raw materials, but seeing as how the only metal we get is from our weekly level up deliveries, broken down parts of old weapons will work. That's great. And a few questions, ask away. If you want to know about any of the gear, name it. If you have questions about the Citadel, I can help you there too. So what do you mean do or die missions? Well, choosing between Hypole and X Center wasn't exactly easy, was it? And following up on these radio signals already killed Captain Ace. Okay, that's cold I know, but piss me off. How did one of our best men die on such a bullshit mission and now Vargas is sending you to finish the job? Hey, I'm glad you found Ace's murderer, but it's not gonna stop there. He's gonna send you to find the same stupid signal. So you don't think the signal is a threat? More like a waste of time if you ask me. We got bigger trolls right here in our own backyard. Hmm. So tell me about those troubles here. Well, the red scorpions for one. I'm afraid if we leave them to their own devices, they're going to get... They're gonna get too big to put down. So did you hear Ace was killed by a robot? I hadn't. I'd heard you found something weird and we're bringing it to Merc Captain Do. Yeah, we need to do that. The leg. You don't think the radio mission is important? I don't know why Vargas is so gung-ho gung -ho to find this signal. It already killed Captain Ace. It might kill you too, for nothing as far as I can see. It's probably just some old pre-recorded message. There's probably no one there at all. So you knew Ace well? Yeah, Ace was one of the best. All us rangers looked up to him and now he's dead, murdered and for what? So we can change some radio signal that might or might not be a threat to us somewhere down the line. Sometimes I don't get the general's thinking at all. Old man? Oops, did I say that out loud? Don't tell Vargas I am called him that, he will hit me with his cane. So, let's trade. Now we will choose wisely. We need an upgrade for Bud. He needs another sniper rifle. Because the one he is using now 
just doesn't do enough damage. And so armor, he has nice armor in stock. Well, so let, let's check out the weapons. Boop, boop, sniper rifle. A boop-up sniper rifle. It is an insane upgrade to the M40. Lots more damage. Slightly less range though, so that's a little bit of a drawback. And a G43. Also an upgrade, but more range than the bullpup but this has more armor penetration yeah the bullpup is probably the rifle we need to buy yeah he has some nice stuff here So 400, we need to yeah, sell some stuff. Well, not much we can sell. Wait a minute, plus one barter. That should probably be equipped. Matt Forrestal's old ranger star, plus one barter. And what are we doing now? Bartering. So, goodbye Nelson. And let's quickly equip the trinket. Let's see if that... Hey Nelson, how are the guns? Let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, let's trade. Sell some stuff, maybe. Wow, he is really paying a premium for the broken weapon parts. Yeah, so enough for the bullpup rifle. And it is a little bit cheaper, not much. And a upgrade for Bud. Excellent. Yeah, we need to return here later. When we got some more money. Ammo wise, we are okay. So that's not an issue. Yeah, that concludes our business. Good choices. But you're not ready to head back out just yet. Fill up your canteens in the mess hall. Well, we will do that. Probably. Or maybe outside. Clean water is hard to come by out here, so be prepared. And thanks for bringing me the weapon parts. Keep bringing me what you find and I'll keep paying extra. And goodbye, Melson. I'll probably talk to this guy later. Uh, let's equip the... Well, let's first install a nice mod. Maybe a extra chance to hit. Yeah. Zed cannot equip this yet. So let's go for the underbarrel flashlight. More chance to hit. 
And here's your new sniper rifle. And this one can be, the M40 can be stripped down. And some more parts, great. Master Grenadier is busy. Mur Captain was here somewhere. Or perhaps we need to give her the robot leg. Yeah, the door is right there. Yes, that's better. So let's mm -hmm. give her the robot mm -hmm. leg. Mm -hmm. See what she ah, the Heroes of Attic Center. Welcome. I've been expecting you. Or perhaps. That's. Looking closer, you see that the woman isn't quite as youthful as she seems. There are a few grey hairs among the brown and a lot of lines around her eyes. But she sketches with this keen-eyed intensity of a younger woman. A very tough decision, considering it was your first time out. Ag Center was a good choice, though. There are great scientists over there. Yeah, we have a robot leg for you. We found... <coughs> Let's have a look at it. Remarkable, but unnerving. I've never seen robot tech this advanced. It'll take me some time to give it a full examination. So if you'll excuse me, I... So she is busy. This guy wants to talk. A gold man in his thirties hunches over a table, cleaning and oiling gun parts. He is smeared with oil and sweat and seems to be trembling slightly. Listen, I heard you talking to Murkatham just now, and well, everything she's got is solid merchandise. But as you may have noticed, she's going to make you pay through the nose for the good stuff. Well, I got a little toy collection of my own. Well, what kind of good stuff? Big guns, energy weapons, rockets, sniper rifles. All top quality. I made them myself. Hmm. And I won't jam up after every shot. I swear. It's just as good as the ones Melson has. Cheap weapons? Let's see them. Cool. Listen, you can't tell Mer Captain. Or she will fire me. Okay? Don't worry, we won't tell. Great, let's check out what he has for sale. Bowlings, bullpup, sniper rifle. Yeah, 95% chance to jam. That sounds a little bit useless. And all his guns have 95% chance to jam. Great bowling. That's what we want. Come on, I'm trying to raise money for a family emergency. So why do you need money? I'm helping out my sister. Can't you tell you any more than that? But it's important, I promise. Is your sister in trouble? I'm not saying anything more about it. Buy a gun or two, help me out. Smart ass. What you're saying doesn't make sense. Something pretty terrible must be going on for you to risk getting kicked out of the ranges for it. Yeah, let's go with that. You're right. Look, it's my sister. If you ain't interested in the guns, 
I got a letter to get to her. It's important. I can't leave the citadel. Can't get the time off. So would you take this letter to her? She lives in the Rail Nomads camp. Her name is Kathy. And tell her I'm sorry. Well, we'll deliver the letter for you. Bowling. Thank you, I owe you one. So, what's so important about this letter? Never mind what's so important, it's private between me and her. We take the letter. Kiss as level 4 required, don't have it right now, so. Yeah, that's it. Goodbye, Robert. We will take your letter to the Real Nomads camp. Let's head to the... Or perhaps... This door was locked. It's probably not wise to unlock it. These guys... Will probably start shooting. So, let's not do that. Let's continue to the infirmary. And see if we can get a... Free heal. Well, let's first go to the this guy who was the map maker, if I remember correctly. There's no getting around this. Despite the bathrobe and slippers and the high tech artificial leg, this guy is intimidating. His fists are the size of canned hams. Yeah, I know, you are the new recruits, heroes of accent, or etc. Well, I don't do the tour. Flintlock does the tour, I just do the maps. So, what's so interesting about maps? Well, we... Keeping accurate maps is an important part of the ranger's job. Knowing where oases are, towns, etc. Very important. So we need to put new places on the map when we find them. Catalog who lives there and if there are threats. So we should keep an eye out for new places. Yeah, we are always looking to expand our knowledge of the world. So write down all places you visit. And when you come back to the base, I will reward you for any place we, already, we don't already have on the map. The more the better. And oasis are important. Of course, there aren't many places to find drinkable water out in the desert. So we need to keep the maps current. But he isn't giving us a map. Because we need to find water for ourselves. And what about the artificial leg? If you ask me again, I'll tear it off and beat you with it. Come on, what if one of us loses a limb? Okay going to keep a fix like this to yourself you're right I'm being selfish I got it from a woman named Dr. Kyle I don't know where she came from but she did excellent work the new leg is fine works like a charm and is powered by a fuel cell that's implanted in the chest kind of freaks me out to be honest and what's so freaky about it it's like a little blue gem set into my breastbone. It feels unnatural. And what about Flintlock? Well, his incessant chatter can be wearing, but I'm glad he's here. He acts as a shield for the idiots who would otherwise bother me. So we need to scout the wasteland and find new locations for this guy. Well, we can do that. And Dr. Tideman. This man must be the ranger's doctor, judging by the tools he's carrying around. He walks around the room tending to his patients and frequently stops to catch his breath. Oh, the new recruits. Need supplies, hurt or just snooping? 
Well, we need to be fixed up. Right, line up and let me have a look. All done, anything else? You're taking pills, Doc. What's it to you? Can the sick man take pills? What's wrong with you? Anything we do? Anything we can do to help? Not unless you got a cure for lung cancer. Hmm. Before the apocalypse, I could have chemotherapy. Now all I can do is take these pills and wait for the end. And the fucking pills aren't working anymore. So, will you take pain pills if we find them? Hell yes. Anything and everything. I'll trade you double for it. And what if we actually found a cure? What a comedian. There is no cure. Well. Not unless you believe those crackpots who say that Finster found one before he died. So what about this Finster guy, mad scientist, lived in a place called Darwin's Village. He was working on modifying humans for hostile environments and he invented a lot of diseases and cures. Darwin Village doesn't exist anymore. Well, where was it? North of here, somewhere. Ask Sakara, but it's gone. The rangers leveled it, and then radiation ate it. Nothing left. So let's trade, let's see what he got in stock. And let's sell the Pain pills, Titan needs. Yeah, we have quite a few of them. And let's stock up on medical supplies, anti venom. Could have used that with the Kila monster fight and a plus one leadership. Maybe something for Max. A nice trinket. Yeah, let's get it. And let's get some medical supplies and the venom. Let's just get a few of each of these items. Trauma kit, antibiotics, removes disease. Sure, let's take four. And removes bleeding. Yeah, let's get Rose fully stocked up. And a 69 left. So we'll keep it at that and we'll bring him more pills if we find them. For now let's say goodbye and let's quickly check out the museum. I already did take a look earlier and there is a skill book hidden in the in the corner and a cannon it isn't in working order its parts seem to be in working order so it can be repaired but not a hard chance, so let's leave that for now. And there was a skill book in 
one of these. Yeah, a fix it. Let's take that. Maybe Vera can use it. She has mechanical repair. And some background information. Yeah, I'll take it all. And the fix it book, let's quickly check that, what that does. This book has tons of useful advice on fixing toasters. And we do not have a character in the squad with toaster repair, so maybe we should think about that. Don't know who should do it, but... And that's the tour of the Citadel, mostly. I will probably talk to some of the guys, maybe get some other quests. But for now, that's, let's leave it at this. And let's try out Bud's new sniper rifle. That seems to be the best thing to do. So for now I'll end the video here and I'll see you in the next one.